guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we are going to be hooking up the security camera with this mic. So, stick around. I'll show you how to do that. Okay guys, a lot of times these cameras have this removable bezel on here. Just slides out of them things there. And your mic will go underneath here like this. Just goes underneath there and your bezel slides back on your mics hidden up in there now on the camera we're going to be using today it does not have that feature also what I like about these I've got two more of these and um, get this back on here anyway I've got two more of these plus the two outside what I like about them is you can adjust them like that or put it on the side to kind of shade the sun. Now this one is not made like that. The bevel does not move. So what I'm going to probably do is I'm probably going to put this under here like this. Just like that because it's going to be pointing down. And then this will come through that little cut out there and I'll use a zip tie to go a black zip tie to go right around that black piece you won't even you won't even notice it so that's what I'm going to do with that now what I got to do is where I'm putting this I got to make a hole through the wall big enough for this this is an adjustment on your for your camera okay um, here they give me this was only 22 bucks I forgot I had two other two cameras uh, so anyway I think this will look a little better in there but this is a little sticker that you can put on and it's for your holes it marks your holes for those so you know where to put your holes at it also gives you a little mounting stuff to mount it in. So I'm going to have to make a pretty big hole for this one. For that piece to come through. And it looks like that's about the size I'm going to need. And I'm going to bring it in, in here. In through, into the garage from the kitchen. And then over to the DVR. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go out here. We're going to put the sticker on about where we're going to want this thing. And I'm going to mark my holes. And then I'm going to drill the big hole. Well, I'll mark my holes. I'll drill the big hole. And then I'll put my anchors in. And then we'll fish it through. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Let me get, let me get a couple drill bits. I'm probably going to use a keyhole saw for that one. So... Let me get everything set up. I'll take you out here and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay guys, the first thing I'm going to do, I got two screws up here I want to take out. This is where we used to have our Wi-Fi. I'm going to take these out. Now I'm going to go right about here okay and I'm going to take this little rod I've got I'm going to go in the center of them screws uh, let me see oh I'll show you what else I did that's how I got my mic on there see on the bottom there and I just put a tie strap right around that 
that black area that was already there. So I'm going to want it about right here. So I'm going to push this through, make sure there's no studs I'm going to run into. Then I'm going to go clear through to the other wall. Kind of crooked. To the to the other wall out in the um, out in the garage. If I can, I may have to get a drill bit and drill through it. So that's what I'm going to do and that should be about where I need to be. Yep, I've got my hole saw here. That's going to make the big hole. I also got a little drill bit to make the small holes for our pattern to put our little anchors and screws in. So I'm going to try to get this through the other wall. I think I'll just sharpen this end up a little bit and I'll push it through. And then I'll drill through here and I'll go to the other side and drill through from the other side. So hang tight. Okay guys, so there's what I did. I sharpened my point up. And I just Shoved it through to the other side. Can't find the hole now. There it is. And it'll be hanging out through the other side. You'll see that hole in just a minute. But right now, let's go ahead and make this hole. With this drill bit here. Now, I don't know if I can use Too bad. All right, now we're going to go outside, or back out in the garage, and we're going to go ahead and make that hole. First, let's make sure it's big enough for pieces to go through. No problem with them, and no problem with that. Cool. All right, plenty of room. Uh, I'm just going to go outside, out back. Well, I'll show you. Okay, guys. I think I found my hole. It should be right here. That should be it. Yep, go straight through. Now, I gotta push my, I gotta push my wires through from out there, but first I gotta mark them holes and get them drilled and I'll take you out there and show you how we're gonna do that. Okay guys, now, we're going to take this and we're going to put this right up here. And we'll feel about where it needs to be. I'm going to peel this off. Just like that. And I'm just going to make my holes with a screwdriver. That's all I'm gonna do. Center it right in the X. 
one. There's two. There's three. I'm just gonna peel this back off. You don't have to, because your camera will cover that up. Now, let me get these in here. Okay, I gotta go get my hammer hang tight. Okay, let's tap these in here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to cut that one off a little bit. It's no big deal. All right, now I'm gonna cut that off. We're gonna mount our camera. Okay, now we've got to get our wires run back through that hole. I do have somewhere a wire fisher. I'm gonna go to the other side and pull them through. Okay, I got my got my wires run through. Now this has to go in that little indentation there, and I'm gonna leave enough. In case I've got to move that, which I'm sure I will, it'll be pointing downward. <laughs> kind of hard to see in there, but if you got it lined up pretty close, it'll go. Okay, I'm gonna take those three screws up and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, now we're gonna hook our coax up. Okay, there's five wires there. Okay, so what we're gonna do, there's um, two power wires. There's the audio, two power wires, audio, and video. So the video, we're just gonna, I don't know if you guys can see that, see that real well. Anyway, it just uh, screws in like that, and then you turn that piece, okay? So that's in. Now, we have an audio here for the camera. Well, for the mic, we got one going in, one coming out. So, this is for our, our audio, the white to white. Now, we're going to run, let's see here. Then we're gonna run, we can run this has power. Okay, we're gonna run this one in here, like that. This has got two power leads on it. Some of them only have two. If it's only got two, you can come out and go into that like that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do there. So we've got power going into the mic, power coming out of the mic, power going into the mic, power coming out of the mic, back into power of the camera, then we've got our audio coming out and our video coming out. 
this one does not have to be used okay so we'll set this over here for now we'll have to do something about them but I'm gonna take you over I'm gonna show you how to plug it into the DVR it's real easy okay guys so there's how it looks I had to put a different screw in this one here see how it looks different from the other one because I dropped the one and I couldn't find it so it's fine so that's what we're looking at I mean don't look bad that's the only wire you see right there that's oops, that's for the mic so I may zip tie it right up against there but oh it looks fine okay now all we have to do I've all I've got a splitter down here that runs into that and that runs the camera so this should power the mic and the camera this is the audio it's going to go into the white a minute audio in I'm going to go in there, and then I want to run this one on number, let's see, what camera is that one going to be? Okay, there we go. Now, there's that. Okay, I'll show you. I had a cobweb right across the screen. Anyway, that's how you do them. You just... You just turn them like a quarter turn and they they hit a notch on them ears and then quarter turn of course that RCA jack just sticks in there and there we go we have it on there now what I gotta do room in this garage all right what I got to do I got to go over here I'm gonna turn the mic on okay the mics on should be picking up now I'm gonna have to go into my settings and bring this up on the record so it's recording and then we'll see how how it sounds and everything okay guys we got that set up I'm gonna go out here walk around and talk to you I'm going to close the door first. I've got to move the ladder. Okay, guys. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Audio visual check. Check one, two. Now, let's see if it recorded. Gotta play back. So I think I'm pretty close. I don't even know what time it is. 5.08. See what that says. 505. Monkey's messaging me. She's done. That's good. I'll speed you up. There we go. Back it up. Okay, guys. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Audio visual check. Check one, two. Alright, so there we go. Let's check it out. Back it up just a 
just a little bit more again. Make sure you guys can hear that. Some of these, uh, I'll bring you over here and I'll explain to you about these things. Okay guys, so we got it hooked up. We're good to go there. I still got to move the other cameras, but I have to, um, I have to wait. I've got to get a couple little couplers, couplings, whatever you want to call it, to extend the cable so that way I don't have to get back up in that attic and run the cables clear back through that attic. I can just hook on to them where they're at, run the one out and out at the corner of the house and run the other one out at the back so we can have something in the back. And then I think we'll be good to go there. Um, I still may put, I may put one up in here, you know, like over in that corner so it just, so it, it records the whole thing. Now those DVRs. Like I had a, a 16 channel uh, DVR and I could only record audio on four of those channels, four cameras. This is a four channel DVR so I can only run four cameras but I can only run audio, record audio on one. So I got it on number one up there right now. So now the reason we put it there, Monkey's been wanting, she kept saying we need to because you know we hear a lot of noises out in there and stuff she says we need to get a camera pointing back at that hallway well now we do but the main reason was uh, we had trouble with with her mom's doctor one time said that she she came here and nobody answered and I checked the ring doorbell nothing on the ring doorbell I checked these two cameras nobody was here at that time and she also told her that she was she needed some some more of her her medicine well the doctor said she never told her that and I know I was here see a lot of times the doctor and the nurses don't know I'm here because I'll be in a bedroom editing a video or whatever kind of listening to what's going on well that's not gonna happen now because now it's recording not only video but audio so when her mom says you know I told you I needed medicine we can prove it when they say well you know well she's saying you didn't well I'm saying she did and I got proof because it's recorded on audio and video so you know people can't screw around and um, plus if we go somewhere and she's by herself you know we can know what's going on and also um, for the uh, paranormal side of things so that's pretty cool so anyway guys, Monkey's getting ready, she's on her way home, she sent me a picture of something here, and um, I will, oh, there's a lizard on her mirror, <laughs> it says he's taking a ride, <laughs> well she wrote talking ride, but taking a ride, oh, uh, my ass off, okay, so anyway guys, I'm going to get off here now, and I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. Remember, stay tuned for next weekend. I'll have some videos before then, but next weekend, big camping trip. Well, not really big, but we'll be gone for three days. Uh, we're not going to be that far from the house, so uh, we got the ring doorbell. So if anything, you know, anybody knocks on the door or whatever, we'll know who's there. We can talk to them. Her mom don't have to worry about anything. We're only going to be 35 minutes away, so that's good. But we'll be leaving here Saturday morning, and we'll be coming back Monday sometime. So, um, like I said, we've already got the uh, I've already got the campsite reserved and everything. It's already paid for. They're expecting us. So um, Thursday, I'll upload a video. Bruno's going to the vet for the first time. He's finally going to get his shots. He's never had his shots, so 
and he's got to have his shots to go camping with us anyway. So, but the point is, is you know, he needed him anyhow. So we're going to get his shots, and also he can come with us because some campsites, you know, want to know if they've had their rabies shots, you know, in case they bite somebody or something like that. It's understandable, no problem. So it'll be his first real camping trip. He's camped out in the backyard with us in the tents a few times, but he's. I think he'll have a good time. He'll be on the boat. He loves the boat, so. Anyway guys, that's pretty much how you do it. Sometimes you have to go into your settings to get it to record sound. I didn't have to do that. Um, there's also a little picture of a speaker there. If you want to hear it, you click that speaker. But I didn't have to do anything with my settings, so that's good. So anyway, everything's good to go there. That's how you do it. So thanks for watching guys. Have a great weekend. Be safe and we'll chat at you guys soon. I've got cobwebs on my camera. I don't like that. <laughs> Shea Bear, the Myth Man, Elijah McGough for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.